Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, we've got a very special day plan. Well, actually, we're not entirely sure what we're doing, but first things first, we got to start it out at Tea Supply. We got to get some goods. I am actually headed out of town for like a solid week, and so we've got to get the farm set up to be self sufficient. Um, Bonzo's going to babysit every once in a while, like maybe once or twice while I'm gone, but like the idea is like the animals need to be able to at least rip for like two or three days without any worrying. And right now, we've got like the water's kind of like a every other day thing the food's about and every two or three days things but like we got to get everything set up to where we make sure everything has food everything has water for the entire week without really having to worry about it so we need to kind of i guess we got to buy a few things here and see you know some bigger water tanks we need more extension cords we need more water heaters we need more feed we need more pretty much everything um that involves taking care of animals so we're just gonna go on a quick little shopping spree this morning and then head back to the farm and try to get everything set up we'll see where the day takes us you stay tuned how's it going I think this should be Dale's best friend. What do you think? Dale would eat that. Dale would. I feel like we need this for Dale. Just put it in there in his pen. Something to cuddle with that night, man. Those the green ones yeah, are? Yeah, it says 100. I'd rather have an orange. Those green ones are a little bright, you know? Yeah, they hurt my eyes. They kind of hurt my eyes. What are these? That's red. Yeah, clearly. Thank you. Thank you, you for you that. You said, what are these? And then how long are they? These are 100 Good. feet. Sure. A couple of these things. Extra power, outdoor extension cord. A couple of these won't ever hurt. All stock, I think, would work. Yeah, that works. Like something like this? The baby goats could drink out of. Or Quacky. Either one, honestly. I mean, that holds a lot of water, and I feel like either the babies or Quacky could, could get in this. So this will work. I mean, that would last a while. Just trying to decide which one for what. Because one option is bring the kiddie pool back Quacky, and then put this for the little goats, and then build, get a big trough for all the bigger animals. You think they would use the the swimming pool more? So this would be for the little the little goats, the baby goats. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this this makes way more sense. I like these. I mean, look at these guys. This aren't that too expensive. This is thirty six dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. I okay. Think rubber's the way to go. I think it's, it's a lot cheaper. You like rubber? I mean, uh, that was like a hundred dollars compared to like thirty dollars. Okay, so that's seventy five dollars. Uh, that's only ten gallons more. This one's a good deal. This, this is a good deal here. Oh yeah. That's a good deal there, folks. All right, so this is gonna be for what? The, the big goats. animals? Yep. What if we took this one and put it closer to the food yep. to convince them? Took a, took a hose out there. And then carry the babies over there to show them that their water's on the other side? Maybe. Sure. I think that'll work. Extension gorge horse tank, chicken feed, sweet feed, mineral block. Okay, block. we just need to grab a mineral block. All right, next on the list, we need mineral block for the goats. Oh, there it is. Yeah, what's this thing say? We gotta make sure oh, sheep, sheep and, goat. and yes, goat. That's the one I was gonna say. We gotta make sure they're good for the sheep. Ain't trying to kill no sheep out here. Oh. There you go, daddy. Good work. All right, we're good. Shoo! Well, folks, we made it down to the farm. We got everything loaded up in the back of the mule here and uh well i couldn't find i thought i had a garden hose that i thought would work so i don't think i do this one what are the odds this one's still frozen this guy right here. well it looks like it's splitting right there that's that's what you want so i don't know if we're going to be able to i don't know how we're, i don't know how we're going to fill up the tank the only thing yeah that's the only thing i can think of is just like fill i mean we can try to like maybe drag it like fill it up and drag it anyways I, I guess we're not gonna we'll figure it out we don't have a hose but we need to get these we need to get these animals so actually i realized the uh the feed i think is this feeds out hey karen how's it going buddy oh yeah we do have some new feed yeah we might as well open one up how's it going karen how's it going dad what are you guys doing anyways all the animals are all fired up right now how's it going donkeys they're doing decent on their hay we gotta we definitely need to add some more hay but why is that thing a brick i was wondering that when we bought that i think it's literally like a, just a total brick Quacky! Hey, you guys need to calm down. That's the good stuff there, folks. Quacky! Quacky! Look, it's like a rice cake. Look at this guy. You guys want a Rice Krispie treat? All right, here you go, guys. Oh, jeez. There we go. Here you go, kids. Shoo! I don't know. It must have got some moisture in it. It's all clumpy, but... All right. Go ahead and start feeding them. Karen. Food. 
we need to go. We're gonna fill up their hay feeder. Like I said, the idea today is to get the farm prepared for me to be gone for like a solid week. So we're gonna try to. Obviously, they need grain. They don't need grain every day. You know, I'm just. I'm. I'm trying. I like to be nice, but they don't actually need it. So Bonzo's gonna come down. Macy can feed them grain. No big deal. But I want to make sure it's as easy as possible for them to take care of it. So next step is to load up the hay feeder. Hey, watch out, bud. All right, fresh hay coming in hot. We do. I bet we can get two bales in there. Raggy, where's, where's your friend Tyrone? Well, where is he? You're always with Tyrone. You ready? Good enough. That'll be fine. What do you think, Dale? Fresh hay, my guy. Quacky! Quacky! Calm down, Quacky. There you go, Dale. Two bales. That should last you a while, my guy. Or do you think this? Do you think this would be better than the chicken? Like, I think Quacky could get up. You think so? I think so. The chickens, they have. I've got that other one yeah. for them, and I we can plug that one in. Yeah. I feel better about Quacky getting this than those little babies, because then you kind of have to you have to worry about the other ones drinking it, you know. So you're just gonna leave the tub there? I'm thinking leave the pool if we can drag it off, but then somehow try. We gotta try to fill both. Yeah. That's gonna I think be we can move part. the pool easier than this. Yeah, I think so too. So fill the pool up, move the pool, then, then fill the tub up and hope for the best. Yeah, I like that plan. You wanna go that way? Yeah, let's just try to drag it over here and see what happens. Okay, okay. Okay. If the big bowl is here closer, they might come up and drink that, but then the babies will figure out that they can drink the little one. I mean, we're just gonna have to probably watch them today, but we wanted to get a hose. The, the original idea was get a hose, put the big tub down by their feet, fill it up. So that way all the big animals don't have to walk so far, but then the babies can still get water over here, if that makes any sense. But since we don't have a hose, we're just gonna have to uh, fill it up with this. I mean, we can see how heavy it is to drag. <laughs> All right, heater's plugged in, going in the tank. All right. I don't know if that'll do anything or not. So that's this extension cord. And then this pole needs to get plugged into this. And the power strip needs to get plugged into this. This is an electrician's nightmare right here. There you go, Quacky. We got you a brand new bowl, buddy. No running out of water today. That's 50, 15 gallons. Yeah. That's quite a bit of water. Yeah. That'll take them a while. What do you think, chicken? We got you a new water dish. Well, actually, I mean, mainly for quacking Tyrone, but I mean, you can use it too if you want. shower this morning relax cheese and rice he's happy look at him oh, look, at that. look at that he jumped in oh he is loving life this is the first time he's ever been able to float yeah. he probably doesn't know what that feels like yeah oh he loves that thing. i want to see him go like this. oh god relax why why chill what the hell quacky dude what is wrong with he's like a, he's like a giving a toddler a bath that just likes to splish splash you happy, my guy? You're happy, huh, buddy? Yeah. We got you a new bubble bath. We should have done this a long time ago. I didn't know how much you would like it. Quacky's a happy camper. All right, so we, so we got Quacky's bowl. He's happy. This bowl is plugged in, filled with water. And then we've got, down here, we've got the chicken water. So, like, I mean, I would be pretty... I mean, at this rate, at this rate, with, with Rick splish splashing, we... I mean, he's already got a quarter of it gone. You might have to come here a little bit more often than three days. Yeah, just. So just to check on him, at least. I mean, at least he's enjoying it. He's enjoying life. The one thing we noticed, though, we came down here is Tyrone's not with him, which, I mean, I, normally Tyrone's hanging around Quacky. And the one thing I also noticed is, if you guys noticed today, Quacky is quacking a lot more than usual. So I don't know, like, honestly, if you now that I'm thinking about it, when we got Tyrone, he kind of stopped doing his quack. Really? When we had James Pond, he was like, wah, interrupting the intros and stuff, wah, wah, wah. We got Tyrone, he kind of shut up. It's 
and now he's back on it. So it kind of makes me a little bit nervous. And then the other thing we noticed is Tom isn't here. We haven't really done any searching or anything. We've been preoccupied with, you know, getting everything set up. But the Bonzo was like, have you seen Tom either? I'm like, no, I haven't. I think some of the chickens are still over here though. I heard one a second ago. Oh, they're on the back side of the barn. Oh, Tom's probably over here then. Oh, hey chickens. Hey, you guys are gonna get eaten. Why are you so, why are you so far away from the coop? Look, you see the chicken down there? There was, yeah, there was two chickens. Two, three, four, five, five? Three? There was, are you sure, do we, are we sure there was only two? I only saw two. No, I haven't seen Tom either. Or Tyrone. Or Tyrone. Tom or Tyrone. Look at, look how, look how ballsy they're getting. I mean, that makes me want, Tom, Tom could just be down there. But look at this. I Usually they hang out right here, and that's it. They're getting freaking ballsy out here. All right. Oh. Oh. <gasps> No, oh, dude, that's a hundred percent. You know what? You know how I know it's Tyrone. Look, clipped wings. Merked. Quacky. No, I did not expect. I was like kind of just joking around about him probably being dead. Like he's actually dead. Oh my gosh. So wait, hang on. So here's my question. Okay, Tyrone, he's obviously dead. How does a turkey that can fly get eaten? And nothing you, else. You know what I mean? No, yeah, how does Quacky didn't get eaten? Quacky's an easier target than, than Tom. I cannot believe that. Look at this. That's him. I trimmed yeah. his wings, bro. 100%. Oh no. Yeah, let's walk this. Maybe Millie will, will find if, if either, well, one, Tom or, Qua or Tyrone, their body. Chickens, you get back up. Wait, hang on. Are we missing a chicken? No, yeah, no, we're missing one. Of the, we're, we're, we're missing McNugget. Oh, no. Let's go. I'm going to go look to make sure. Dude, no way. Quacky, I'm sorry, buddy. No one here quacking so dang loud. Oh, no. Dude, we might have just got absolutely ambushed yesterday. Yeah, look how many, look how many Tyrone feathers. So Tyrone and Quack usually sleep here, and Tom usually sleeps here. You can see all the poop right here. Tom perches up here. So something literally had to run. Oh, you found a chicken. Wait, where is he? What? What are you doing back there? I was like, is he traumatized or is he stuck? No, you missed Tyrone. I'm so sorry. I know, buddy. I, I warned you guys. I kept putting you in your pen, and you didn't want to stay. Well, we're gonna go on a we're gonna go on a looking adventure. We're gonna take Millie with us and see. We already found the remains, somewhat of the remains of Tyrone. We have no sign of Tom, so we're gonna go look in the woods for Tom. I know, like this is where we've seen all of the coyotes and bobcats and stuff is down here. That's where I trapped my bobcat. We've seen all the prints. And like I said, Tom sleeps here, and the two ducks usually sleep right here. So I'm imagining a group of coyotes came up, snatched Tom right away, drug him off, came back for Tyrone, and by that time, Quacky somehow got away. He can't even fly. That's I don't understand how he got away and, and Tyrone didn't. But here's the thing. They got food last night. They're going to come back for Quacky tonight, 100%. So we cannot leave Quacky out anymore. We have to, we're going to have to start locking him up in the fence, turn on the electric fence, and see if anything comes back. The other thing is, uh, you know what we should do is we should go get some trail cameras. We put them on that tree right here. Yeah. I guarantee you this is the funnel they're using. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's just a natural animal path. And so we can put one here and see what's kind of lurking and what's coming up. But 100% they're going to come after Quacky tonight since they got Tom and Tyrone last night, which is just absolutely unbelievable. Here's there's a, the there's a chicken. What are you doing, buddy? Is that McNugget or Nugget? Honestly, I don't know. Anyways, at least they're safe. I, I thought, dude, if we lost a chicken too, yeah. I was like, dude, how is this even possible? All right, so we're gonna go. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I see him. Look, 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 look. Tom. Oh my goodness. Look, 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 look. Tom. Oh my gosh. How do we not see this? Look at this. Look at all the Tyrone feathers. I thought it was snow. There's no snow on the ground. These are all Tyrone feathers. Oh my gosh. How did they get Tom? Oh, I just can't believe, like, that's the only thing I can think of is he was sleeping. You see any more? Tom's? Tom or Tyrone? Tom. Really? Oh, yeah, right here. Yep. Yep. So we Whole down bunch. Here. Okay, so we're tracking them. We, I guarantee you they'll have, a, they'll have a carcass hidden somewhere in here. There's no way that they can't eat everything. Like, there's going to be bones and stuff left. We got, here's, we got to find out where, where his carcass is because then they'll come back to finish it off. So, so look, look at all these feathers right here. Oh my god, Tom, no, like Tyrone was cool, but like honestly Tyrone didn't really have that much of a personality, like he was pretty new, and he was just honestly Quacky's buddy, I honestly feel more bad for Quacky than I do Tyrone, because now Quacky doesn't have a buddy, and you can tell because he's quacking a bunch, and then Tom, I love Tom, like he was such a beefcake, he was such a cool animal, oh my gosh, alright, so there's that, I finally, it finally bit us boys, we, we were all, we were confident, we were like, hey, nothing's ever messing with our animals, we're always good, we're good, we're good, and all it took was one night, and I mean, luckily they didn't get quacky, if they got quacky, I would probably be crying right now, TBH, but Tyrone and Tom, 
You guys are gonna be missed. I'm gonna keep looking though. Millie, luckily we got Millie with us. She might be able to sniff out something with some remains of something, I guess. But let's just walk these woods down here and see what we can see. We can find. I mean, there's a, an obvious trailer coming down. All oh, the chickens are falling. Chickens, did you not learn your lesson last? I guess they probably didn't even see it. Besides James Pond, this is the first major casualty. James Pond, he was kind of already milk toast, and an owl got him. So it, and it, like that was kind of a cheat code because we did have him locked up. This is like this is straight war. This is coyote. This is bobcat or potential mountain lion the fact that they got Tom is just mind-blowing like I have never heard of coyotes eating turkeys like I've heard of them eating like baby turkeys but not like a full-grown massive 50 pound turkey I mean I, I I don't know I mean I guess if there's a couple of them yeah but, I mean he's got spurs he's got talons he's got all sorts of defense mechanisms he can fly that's the only reason why I think that they snuck up on him when he was sleeping I bet they just jumped up and grabbed him and pulled him down because otherwise he would just fly away like I've seen him fly he can fly we're gonna go ahead and keep looking through the woods and see if we can find any more feathers there was quite a bit up there that means they probably like you know we're picking at them up there normally coyotes they'll drag their prey off i would be shocked if oh millie sniffing some i'd be shocked if it was a bobcat especially for tom there's no way a bobcat beat tom no way. millie sniffing something let's see what she's looking oh. at well we haven't seen anything yet yeah i think uh i think the strat now lock everything up set cameras and declare war thermal on hunt over here or and we could thermal hunt that's also another option we could wait a, mm, that's an option how about this let's set out a trail camera figure out where they're coming from what times and see if it's like a, a daily routine and if we can figure it out they're coming at this spot at 2 a.m we'll come back for another video and take the thermal out avenge tom and tyrone's death because this is it's tra it's not trapping season so see i mean i'm not gonna say i told you so because it was definitely my fault for not locking up the animals i've never locked them up though like i mean we've gone six months without locking anything up nothing's ever happened and what happened trapping season just ended just ended and now this happens i mean i don't know if it's a coincidence and i'm not saying that it's the trapping season's fault or anything like that it's obviously my fault for not locking thing up so i'm gonna take responsibility for it but this is why i trapped around the farm for all you haters out there that are hating on the trapping this is why i trapped around my property because the second we pulled all the traps and let everything calm down boom we got murked so kind of a botch, but I guess we'll, we'll kind of we'll, like, so we're going to keep walking through here. If we don't see anything, I'll let you know. And then we're going to get some cameras, start staking it out and see if we can figure out what has taken the life of our precious Tom and Tyrone. Okay, here we go. We're on to something. Look what Millie found. Look oh, oh, here it is. Here. Oh, no. These are here's, all his like yeah, back the feathers. Huge feathers. Look at these right here. Bunch right here. Look at all these huge piles. Dude, nothing but feathers, Millie. This is not good, my guy. So basically, if you guys can see, this is, I bet this is the path right here. I'm just gonna see if we can see any other types of remains or anything that are like, dude, that's just crazy that there's there's nothing left. Like, I mean, you would think you would find some bones, but maybe they're, where do you think they went from here? Do you think they went down? I mean, that would make the most sense. So they obviously did most of the eating right here. So maybe we'll check up here. I don't see any blood. I don't see any. Millie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Go find the turkey. I don't see any blood or anything. Cause we saw, originally we saw feathers kind of down and then they came down in here and that's where like hands down the majority of the feathers as far as time goes are right there. So we don't see any more though. I think we can con confirm Tom, rip, Tyrone, rip, Quacky, he made it out. We are gonna go lock him up. We're gonna take all the chickens and lock them up. We're not playing around anymore. I'm not gonna let anything free range without supervision. If we're down here and we're messing around, I'll let everything out because I like everything to be able to free range. They can kind of explore, live their best life as a chicken, as a duck, as a turkey. But I mean, like the thing is about Tom though, you couldn't prevent Tom. Tom wouldn't even stay in the enclosure. He would just, he would fly over. So it's like, I, T Tyrone was preventable. Tom, I do not think was super preventable. Unless you literally want to put him in a cage. I don't want to do that though. Like that's just it. I want them to live their best life. But if living their best life means that they get a child by coyotes and that's probably not their best life if that makes any sense anyways well i so say we're gonna head up let's go get some trail cameras and uh declare war on these freaking coyotes you stay tuned well we got them all set out hennifer what do you do you not understand what's going on right now we have animals dying in this forest look at her she is oblivious we got we need to go lock these suckers up right now go herd them all back let's go vamanos amigo Yep, yep, feathers in your, up your nostrils. All right, you need, to, you need to quit adventuring. They're gonna be after you tonight. We'll lock you up and keep you safe, buddy. Let's go. There you go, Cracky. All right, we gotta shut this ring with the rest of the chickens. We got the final chicken. This guy did not want to go inside. There you go. Sheesh. Everything's back to where they've been. Let's 
see if this fence works. All right, well, everything's locked up. Quacky drank half of his huge tub already, so that's sick. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to make sure that he's got plenty of water, but he should be all right. I'm not too worried, especially if they're all confined here. They're, they'll be happy. They'll, they'll be all good. It's supposed to be nice and warm in the next few days anyways, so I'm not really worried about freezing. We just gotta make sure all the bowls are filled. And uh, cameras are out, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm, I said at the beginning of this video, I'm gone for a week, so we wanna lock these guys up, make sure everything's got food, make sure everything's got water. Since we've got a predator that is comfortable taking out some livestock, we gotta be extra careful. So I'm really hoping this, this fence here does its job, protects the, protects the livestock while I'm gone. I said Bonds was gonna come and babysit a couple times while I'm gone but we're gonna hope for the best. And then when I get back, we're gonna check the trail cameras. So we're gonna have like a full week of trail cam footage for you guys that we're gonna review, go over, and then it's time to hunt down the animal killer on the backyard farm. Anyways, I'll see you guys uh, in about a week. Here you are folks. Uh, it's been a week since I've been home. We were in Mexico filming Guggen Squad videos, but we have six SD cards. We, as you guys saw, we kind of scattered them around, beta them and stuff like that. Two of them are just picture mode. These guys right here. Um, we got some really, well actually we didn't, we got these a long time ago, like nine months ago. Cuddle, cud back ones or something. They're supposed to be like cellular and link. I couldn't figure it out. Um, and they also only filmed in pictures or something. I couldn't figure out either. Either way, we've got two of those with pictures and then we have a total of four cameras on video duty. So we're gonna go ahead and just start popping them one by one and see what took down Tyrone and Tan. Oh, night shots, here we go. This is where the good stuff comes out. All right, night shot number one. Sick, I don't see anything. I saw the grass move. It's this, these little feathers. Yeah. Maybe you're triggering it. Oh, oh, hold up. I saw eyes. Hold up, I see something. Ooh. What was that? Raccoon. Really? Yeah, look at Ricky. See, that's a possibility. Raccoons do eat ducks. I, the thing is, a raccoon taking down Tom, it would be a tough sell. Oh, there's a, there's a few of them, I think. I just saw oh, the left corner. That's gotta be a beefcake. It would be, I would be shocked. Oh yeah, oh, oh that oh, looks like a possum. That's a possum. Oh, what's up, little guy? Now, possums, I've heard, will go and eat chicken eggs and like sometimes kill chickens, sometimes, but not often. like turkey eggs, but not turkey like eggs, a turkey. But not a turkey. I mean, I don't, you know, again, these were just set down on the paths here. So, yeah, possum on that one. Ooh, is this Ricky? That is Ricky! Yep. Okay, okay, we have our first suspect. He's kind of a beefcake. He's decently sized. He's sniffing around. We put some bait out there. He's sniffing around them feathers. This is this was just set in front of a feather pile. Um, we haven't checked the camera yet. That was right where the animals uh, had been eaten like and two taken. Up, two up there. Yeah, we had two right there. So, okay, there's more Ricky. Here's more Ricky. Make sure there's not more than one Ricky here. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's all about it. There's, you know, I would believe Tyrone. If, if you said Tyrone got eaten by a raccoon, I would, I would say, all right, yeah. Tom, I'm still not sold on Tom. You know, this could just be a coincidence that there was a, a raccoon checking all this out, but let's go ahead and just get through the rest of these. Yep, he's really interested in that feather pile for sure. On that guy, all we've got is raccoon. Which again, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not buying it, folks. I'm not. I'm not content with with that type of intel. Okay, we've definitely got more more going on than that. So we've got another video camera here. Three. This one was set up on just a main trail. This was like farther, not in, yeah, farther, super in the far woods. down, almost where we caught the first bobcat. Um, this was this was just one of those that we wanted to stick out there just to see what's in the area, not necessarily what's coming up to the animals. We just want to see, just like we saw, there was a raccoon there. So we've got a few clips here. Yep, that's us, 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 more of us. Ooh, nighttime shot, what's going on here? Nothing. This was not the trail, by the way. This was, uh, uh -oh. this was on Tyrone's feather pile. Ooh, uh -oh. what is this? What is that? Oh, snap, that's all we get. Was that a coyote? I can't tell. That's like the tail right there. Or it's a deer. I don't know. Did we point it up too much? I don't remember pointing it up that high, but we must have. Huh. So this would take that back. This was on Tyrone's feather pile. Oh no, it's not. Whose <laughs> dog is that? Whose dog is that? Oh. Wait, what? Whose dog is that? Wait, now I'm confused. Whose dog is this? I mean, that's a big dog. That's a huge dog. That's a huge dog! Whose dog is 
to this. It has a collar. Yeah. I mean, like, you don't Imagine, have Imagine, what if, what if somebody's pet dog came in and clapped the farm animals? I mean, I, You see how big possible. of a dog that is? Whose dog is that? Like, you don't have any neighbors anywhere close this to the It's the crazy, yeah, I have no neighbors. My nearest neighbor's a mile away. Whose dog is this? I've never seen that dog ever before. What? No, I'm super confused. That is weird. Okay, we got deer. What's up, Bambi? Yeah, two deer hanging out. I wonder if there are other Whose trailer cameras. Whose dog, dog is that? Also, what kind of dog was that? That's I don't even know. It's like some type of mi mix of something. I don't. Oh, little bird. If something came through on this one right here, I would I would say there's like a 90% chance that this is what killed them because this was right where they were. So the one night they got killed, we put out the camera, they come back the next night. So whatever's on here it's is dog. probably gonna be the killer and it better not be the damn dog. All right, night shots, here we go. Coon, raccoon, look wow. at him. Definitely. Look at him, look at him, he's sniffing yeah. where he can climb? Oh. Since when can they climb trees? I guess they can climb they trees. They can, but I've never yeah. seen one do it. What? That's a beefcake. That's a life hack. See, see the mound of poop just to the right of him. That was Tom's poop. So, so he Tom literally climbed up there and... So he was on the top rail? Tom yeah, slept yeah on? Tom, Tom sleeps on that top rail. He Look at him. He climbed up there. He knew. What? What is... This is, this is just... This is just ain't, this ain't fair, folks. Look at him. I mean, that's a big dude. It's a big raccoon. Millie, what do you think of this raccoon, my guy? We gotta go hunting, huh? It's not trapping season anymore. I might try to call the game warden and see if he'll give me a permit to trap these guys, because that's a big problem. That is, that is a big problem. Look at him, he's just running around all sorts of excited about life. Is he still, it's still him. Goodness. Ahead. I just wanna make sure there's nothing else. Ricky. He's back. So this he's is like another this night. This is the next night. Look at him. He comes back twice to the exact same spot. Look at that thing lurking. You we have a killer it. coon on our hands, folks. This is not good. Let's go to the next nighttime shot. All right, it's the next night. This is at 1.30 a.m. He's back climbing freaking trees and shit. Look how big he is. Dude, that is a well, big got raccoon. Tom and Tyrone inside of it. Yeah. Dude, imagine, I mean, he, he kind of walks like a coyote. Is that, is he not? I thought yeah. they kind of like, dude, one of these, he's just kind of like, he's literally in your shed. Yeah, he's in the shop right now. That is where Tom, that is where Tyrone and Quacky slept. Like that shop and then, and then Tom slept up on the railing. So this is, this is crazy. So this is at eight, this is the next day at 8 p.m. He's back again. This is a frequent flyer out here, folks. This guy is fearless. He's back at 8 p.m. He is back for like four, oh, there's another one. There's another one, look in the back. Well, okay, it's, it's game over. What these guys don't understand is who these guys are right here. We are some coon catching SOBs, all right? No, I'm calling the game on, we're getting a pest from it. These suckers are going down. You know, if it was a coyote or a bobcat or maybe even Bigfoot, I'd respect it a little bit. They're big, they're beef eggs, they're predators. If a raccoon is taking down the animals at the farm, we can, no. we can take them down. No, they are no match for us. Look at them, he's just running around. Unbelievable, folks. Oh, another oh. one! Look at them! Are they, they kissing? What's that strat? Wow. <laughs> okay, sorry, we didn't want to interrupt. Maybe we should upload, upload this on a different <laughs> website. Too far? Too far. Look, they're back, coon. He's just sniffing right there. They freeze. Wow. This is crazy. They are so comfortable. I mean, they're just lurking. The same spot. I can't wait to get to the, we still have two more trail cameras. So you sit back and stay tuned, okay? So far, I'm under the impression, raccoons. We have not seen anything else. It's gotta be raccoons. It has to be. Do you guys, comment down below. Do you think raccoons could take down Tom? That's all I, that's all I wanna know. Could, could a raccoon or two or seven take down Tom? Two or seven. You know, you never know how many they got. All right, well, this is the last clip here, folks. And we've got Speedy Ricky ripping again. Okay. All right, he's gonna get, he's gonna get trapped. That's, that's a guarantee right there. All right, we got two more trail cameras. These are the picture ones, so you stay tuned. This is interesting. This is, uh, this is not what I expected here. Did not expect to have a neighbor's dog and a bunch of raccoons terrorizing my farm, but that's just what's going on right now, so. Deer. All right, here we go. This, this one was set up on a trail. 
straight up trail. Um, like deep we're in the woods? Deep, right? deep in okay. the woods, yep. So deer, 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 deer. Wow, this thing takes a lot of pictures. You think that's a deer ear? Yeah. It looks like a deer ear. Hey, what's up, deer? Nice hey, selfie. how's it going, deer? Let's do. Hey, what's going on, folks? Are these the same photos? Just, no, maybe not. Is that 6 p.m.? Wow, this thing just rapid fires the pictures, oh. huh? They did, they, did, they, did they tackle the lens here? Yeah. Coon. Ricky. Ray. Two of them. See? One, no. two. They're go That's where they're headed, too. Yep. They're head if they're headed... If they're, no, no, no. If they're headed they towards the camera... It. So the, they're, they're going, leaving. They're leaving. Correct. Now they're headed. Yeah. They're just hanging out. What made them stay right there so long? I don't think there was anything there. Oh, jeez. Look at that deer just sniffing the camera. More deer. More deer. More deer. It's like every five seconds. Wow. This thing... All right, I mean, at least I got a camera that can take a lot Three of I mean, we got to do some deer hunting out here, folks. There's a lot of them. I'm just looking for uh, Big bucky. some coyotes or a buck. Look, they love the camera. They are just super photogenic. Raccoon. Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? Look at that stash. That's this guy right here. <laughs> All right, so, again, raccoons only. We have yet to see a bobcat or a coyote after putting out six cameras for one week. Six cameras in one week. I would say if there's a coyote, they would be there within a week. So... I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't think it's a coyote. We got one more camera. This one, where was this one? This, this one was right facing next down. To, yeah, down right on next the main to trail. where Tom slept. So, yeah. Facing down. So, basically, the one camera where you saw the raccoon initially was facing where they were killed. This one is facing kind of down the valley. So, same area, just a different angle, basically. So I'm guessing there's just a bunch of. Look at this guy. <laughs> what a sexy beast. Hey, guys. My name's John. What is he doing? All right. Okay, that's you carrying a chicken. So this this is when we had to basically gather, gather everything. We put them all, we locked them all up. So this was the day we set them out. There's, look at me, look at me carrying Quacky. Quacky, Quacky wouldn't come in, so I had to carry him. <laughs> look at him. Hey, Quacky. Uh, Nothing. How did, with all the trap, maybe it was just angled the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it might have been just a little too high up. Hmm. Well, there you have it, folks. Let me know. Can a raccoon kill a full-size beefcake turkey named Tom? or did the camera somehow miss? Or do you think it was the neighbor's dog that came back like four times and I don't know why? Like, we didn't even show you guys, we were, we were ripping through some other photos trying to sort all this stuff and we saw the dog again and again and again. So it's one of those things where he's come back about every day. Um, I don't know if he would eat a chicken or not, but I probably shouldn't let everything anything free range. Uh, obviously there's nothing I can do. I can't trap it or anything like that. Um, I just got to catch it in the act, which luckily it's been during the day and stuff. It has a collar, so I just got to return it to one of my neighbors. Maybe I'll go to my neighbor's house after this and go see who owns that dog. But raccoons are going down. We need to it's call the war. game warren. This is freaking war, folks. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Rip Tyrone. Rip Tom. We're keeping everything locked up from now on. We're not going to let anything out. Everything's locked up right now. Quacky, the six chickens. We're keeping everything under lock and key until we can figure out the predator problem. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and peace.